Safe mode is a special boot mode for Android that can help us when troubleshooting certain issues. Xiaomi has a history of blocking this on their devices with MIUI, but they seem to have included it on the Redmi Note 11 series. So today I'll be showing you how to boot this phone into safe mode, as well as how to exit safe mode. Now, Android is a complex operating system, and that means sometimes various components that make up the operating system can bug out. This can result in a cascading effect where one area breaks due to something like file system corruption, and it causes issues with an entirely different aspect of the phone. One such area of Android that has a large amount of influence over the rest are third-party applications and games. Whether you have installed them through the Play Store or have sideloaded them manually, applications and games can have a major impact over the performance and stability of your smartphone. Installing an incorrectly coded or a poorly optimized app on your device can cause the performance to tank, it can chew through your battery life at an alarming rate, or even begin filling up your remaining storage space with useless data. I've seen people experiencing issues with all of these areas of Android, and in some cases, it boiled down to a bad or even sometimes just an outdated application causing the issue. But many of us have dozens or even hundreds of third-party apps installed on our devices. How are we to know when one of these is causing an issue? And this is where safe mode comes into play. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 safe mode feature is a way for us to temporarily disable all of these third-party applications. This then allows us to test and see if it's the apps and games that we have installed are what is causing the issue that we are experiencing with the device. Whether that's performance related, maybe an overheating issue, or even just the cause of your smartphone having poor battery life. And we can access safe mode on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 by bringing up the power menu and rebooting the device into recovery mode. Now I have previously shown you how to boot into recovery mode on the entire Redmi Note 11 series. So if you're still unfamiliar with how to do this, be sure to check the video description below as I'll have a link to the individual tutorial that I did on this. And once we boot into the MIUI recovery mode on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11, you can see right here we have a safe mode option. So that whenever we press the power button here, we're going to select that safe mode option, and then it's going to boot us into the Android operating system. However, this time, as you can see, we're going to have a watermark in the bottom left area of the screen. The watermark says safe mode, and that's a reminder to tell us that we are currently in safe mode. And also, when we are in safe mode, you're going to notice that none of the third-party applications and games that you have installed are going to show up in MIUI's launcher. Whether it is a third-party application you personally installed from the Play Store or one of the many third-party applications that Xiaomi preloads on the phone. This is a unique way that Xiaomi MIUI is using safe mode as normally Android will just gray out the application icons that are being disabled, but it seems like MIUI is going to remove the application entirely. So even though I have things like 
push bullet and join installed on this device. When I have booted into safe mode, these applications and all other third party apps are not going to show up on the screen or in your app drawer. These apps are not showing up on the device because they are all temporarily disabled. None of them are allowed to run, whether in the background or the foreground. And again, this is a great way for you to test and troubleshoot to see whatever issue you are experiencing still happens while your device is in safe mode. Because for example, if you notice that your device was overheating or had poor battery life during normal use, but then you boot it into safe mode and the overheating issue was eliminated, then that means one of your third party applications is causing this issue. And that means you're gonna to need to reboot back into normal mode. That means we're gonna exit safe mode so that we can uninstall some of these third party applications and hopefully figure out which one is the issue. So when you are ready to exit the Redmi Note 11 safe mode, we simply need to reboot the phone. We're going to do that by bringing up the power menu, tapping the reboot option twice, and then waiting for the device to turn off, turn back on, and boot us back into Android. This is going to take us through the normal boot process. And we're just going to boot right back into MIUI like normal. Now you can see that safe mode is not, the, the watermark is not there and that we have all of our third-party apps like Join and Push Bullet and all of the ones that Xiaomi puts on there as well. That wraps up today's video on how to access safe mode on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 series. This will work on all of the devices in the Redmi Note 11 series, including the Note 11S, the Note 11T, in the Note 11 Pro. And I'm happy to see that Xiaomi has finally brought safe mode to their Redmi devices. This is a feature that has been missing on many, many generations of devices. And this is a very useful feature for people who want to troubleshoot their phone.